What's going on everyone? It is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today I have a new keyboard that's available for iOS and Android called the WRIO RIO keyboard that's basically taken the standard QWERTY keyboard and reshaped all the keys into honeycombs. The goal here is to increase the key size and they say can improve your typing speeds up to 70%. It works with a bunch of different cool gestures and they've removed a few different keys. Like you notice the delete key and the shift key is gone. To actually do a capital letter, you just do a quick swipe up on that letter as you're typing, which is actually really neat and works really well and you don't have to go and hit that separate key. It takes quite a little bit of time for you to kind of relearn your muscle memory. It'll actually take about two weeks, they say, to become fully proficient here. The spacebar has also been removed and in, into those two separate keys. It still builds in an emoji keyboard. You can actually tap on that or swipe up to get to emojis. Tapping it goes to your number keys. The one gesture that's really neat is delete. You'll notice the delete key is gone, but if you do a quick swipe left, it'll delete one character. Holding swipe left will delete everything. And if you hold again, going to the right, you can actually put everything back. So if you deleted something and you want to put it back, you can just simply hold it to the right and you put everything how it was. Now I notice this key here has that little shaded part on the top. That just lets you know that you can do different things. So this one key can actually do four different uh, characters. So tapping it is question mark. Swiping up quickly is the exclamation. Holding it for just a second is an apostrophe. And holding for a second and then swiping up is double quotes. So it builds four different characters into one key, which can really be time saving. I know a lot of people do use their phones horizontally and this keyboard supports that as well. Horizontally, you'll have the keyboard broken into two different areas on the right and left with the number keys and different uh, characters there in the middle. This supports a whole variety of different languages, 30 of them I believe, and it actually has a personalized autocorrect. So the more you use this, it'll learn more about you and be able to inject your personal words into your corrections. If you need a tutorial on how to install a keyboard, simply go to settings, general, and then keyboards, go to keyboard, Hit add new and as long as that app is installed, it'll recognize it and show up on your list. You can reorganize them so that this Ryo keyboard is at the top of the list. So it'll be like the default one that loads anytime you um, prompt a keyboard to show up. And then if you go into the app itself, you can view the settings, but tapping that simply takes you back to the settings application where it allows you to change things like the theme. By default, we're here on the light theme, but there are several other ones available. For all those privacy concerned people, this is a fully private keyboard. It does not require full access, but of course that means it's missing things like dictation. So if you're someone who uses dictation, you're still gonna need to resort back to that default keyboard. If you'd like, you can pick this up for only $2.99 currently in the app store. It is on sale for launch. The full price will be $5 when it finally goes up. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.